Hi everybody, part three of the Little Ho'oponopono book by Ulrich E. Dupree. Okay, so the power of forgiveness. Destructive thoughts about past events improve neither the world nor our life in it. Quite the opposite, the smoldering fires of old disappointments of annoyance and rage or a toxic metal cocktail composed of jealousy and resentment only to make the heart heavier and gloomier. We tend to turn around away from people who have the smell of sarcasm about them. Once upon a time there were two monks who in the course of their wanderings came to a river. Sitting there was a young woman who said, I cannot swim. If you, are worthy sages, also want to cross this river, I would be very grateful if one of you would carry me over. One of them said at once, Come and climb on my shoulders, and together all three crossed the river. On the other side of the river, the woman bade them goodbye, and the monks travelled on. They did not talk, but one of them seemed troubled by something. What is it, my friend? You look annoyed, said the one who had carried the woman. At that, the other snapped, Oh, you fool, how could you have any contact with a woman? We are monks and live withdrawn from the world. To which the other replied, it is true, I have carried that woman across the river. But from what I hear, it seems to me that you're carrying her. Forgiveness releases us. It frees us from a burden that either we cannot carry or do not want to carry. Who would want to live their life with a big backpack on their shoulders full of problems, old conflicts and fears? Forgiveness heals and makes life easier. Above all, forgiveness is a gift that we give to ourselves. In Hawaii, after the forgiving, the matter is settled and no one busies themselves with it any longer. We can learn forgiving and forgetting. Forgiveness is not a one-time thing. Forgiveness is a lifestyle. Dr. Martin Luther King. Just like everything else, just like running or painting, we can learn forgiving and forgetting. If it does not work out straight away, we can act as if it did. It works like an affirmation, I am pretty and my body is well formed. It sounds completely absurd, but say it enough times and you will come to say, yes, 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 it's true, I can see it. Interestingly, other people will then see it too and we are proven right. To be considerable, no, start again, to a considerable degree, we experience what we send out into the world with our thoughts and feelings. The world seems to resemble a great mirror for it reflects whatever it is we feel deep in our hearts. When we feel sympathy, we increase the happiness of this world. When we think negative thoughts, we increase the pain. Okay, so that's part three. Ho'oponopono. And I will read you part four very, very soon.